Good afternoon and welcome to this hearing of the City Council Transportation Committee. I need Dennis Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. First, let me recognize my colleagues who are here with us, Councilmember Diaz, Richard Miller, Cook, Menchaca, Cabrera, Salamanca, Dodge. Uh, today we will be voting on the proposed intro 1010-A, a bill sponsored by Councilmember Miller, proposed intro 1010-A, -A, would address the issue of commercial vehicles parking overnight on residential streets by creating an alternative means of enforcement adjudicated through us. The newly created fine will be higher than those in existing law, $400 for a first offense and 800 for a second offense within a six month period. This new means of enforcement will help to deter tractor trailers and other large commercial vehicles from illegally parking overnight on residential streets. I would now like to invite the sponsor of the, uh, to deliver opening statement, Council Member Miller. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez. Um, today, this body will vote on the first pillar of my uh, our Commercial Truck Abuse Act, Introduction 1010. This bill would establish a costly civil penalty for 18-wheel big rigs overnight in residential areas. The drivers of commercial tractor trailers routinely abuse our city's parking regulations and degrade the quality of life in communities throughout the city. They park these monstrosities next to homes, bus stops, fire hydrants, schools, playgrounds for hours, sometimes even days on end, leaving pollution, debris in their wake. We have worked with NYPD to ramp up its enforcement efforts, but these efforts often and offenses continue. The current fines imposed on big rig drivers have not been effective in curbing the abusive practices either, which they deem the cost of doing business. In actuality, the greatest expense of the cost of doing business is the health and safety of our communities. Now we will send a clear message to the bad actors of operating with these truck, trucking, in, operating within the trucking industry that the price for such flagrant abuse is steep. Instead of $250 for the first fine or offense, $500 for a fine for subsequent fines, one occurring within six months period, authorized authorities will be able to issue a larger civil penalty respective amounts, $400 and $800 for the second. I want to thank Speaker Johnson, Chair Rodriguez for supporting this advancement of this important measure. Also I'd like to thank Committee Council uh, James G G Giovanni, Elliot Lynn, for their work with this augmenting bill, as well as my legislative director, Brandon Clark, Greg Rose. We started this uh, a year and a half ago, and special advisor, the great Joe Goldblum, for their uh, efforts, their combined efforts over the past two years in bringing this uh, to fruition today. Uh, I'd like to thank the chair once again, my colleagues that sit around us. This is something that has played uh, all communities throughout the city, and I uh, look forward to voting on it and affirming it this afternoon. Thank you, Councilman Miller, for your statements and for all the work you have done to address this issue. And I call for the vote on proposal intro 1010-A. I recommend a yes vote, and I ask the committee clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on transportation, introduction 1010-A. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Permission to explain my vote. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to take a moment, Council Member Miller, uh, to express uh, my deepest uh, form of gratitude for this bill. There are good bills, there are great bills, there are amazing bills. This is an amazing bill. I've been struggling with this issue literally right where I live. Said what? Avenue, Bailey Avenue, with these ma uh, big Mack trucks. They come and they take parking. They stay there overnight. And I'm talking about every single day. As you can tell, I'm livid about uh, people taking advantage, uh, these truck drivers of our communities who are not from our communities. Uh, they come in, and the police department, they even go the extra mile making 
calling them, calling the companies to do something about it. Uh, we do need more tow trucks. I know the NYPD is here. Please, we only have one. Uh, let's get a few more. Uh, if we could help with capital, we'll help with that as well. Uh, so we could have a, a strong arm in this uh, bill. Uh, and thank you for the teeth that you added uh, in terms of the consequences. So with that, I vote a different aye. Deutsch. Aye. Ku. I, will, I, I want to say, uh, say thank you to Councilman Miller for passing this bill. Menchaca. I vote aye. Congrats. Miller. Vote aye. Richards. Permission to explain my vote. All right, it will be brief, but want to thank uh, Councilmember Miller for his relentless advocacy and finally getting this bill over the goal line. This is, he's been working on this, feels like forever since we've gotten here, but this has been a constant complaint, uh, especially, I know for all neighborhoods, but for neighborhoods, especially in close proximity uh, to the airports in, in close proximity to air cargo at JFK, and I know LaGuardia as well uh, in particular. But when you look at um, where these trucks park, you know, they are taking advantage of New York City, um, and especially communities that have high asthma rates, where disparities around health and everything else exist. We've seen these truck drivers taking uh, consistent advantage uh, of our neighborhood. So this is a great day. Um, I do want to uh, elaborate, elaborate a little bit more on where uh, Councilmember Cabrera uh, mentioned uh, more trucks, and I know that is a discussion we have had, um, and I know that's something we're going to bring up once again uh, during exec budget hearings with the commissioner, but I do believe we do have an agreement with PD uh, that we will gently remind them of, of, of purchasing more of these trucks. Um, tow trucks, heavy duty tow trucks. And, and largely because a lot of our precincts don't have the capacity. They want to do the right thing. They go out there, they ticket, they're giving their all, but there's simply not enough um, heavy duty tow trucks to really get rid of these um, monstrosities in our neighborhood. So, with that being said, congratulations, Councilmember Miller, uh, and I vote aye. Salamanca. Permission to explain my vote, Commissioner Prentice? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Councilmember Miller, I really want to commend you on this bill. It is, as my colleague uh, Councilmember Cabrera said, it is an outstanding bill. Um, <clears throat> in the South Bronx, I represent two IBZs, Business Improvement District, Industrial Business Improvement District, which is Hunts Point and Port Morris. In Hunts Point alone, I have over 16,000 trucks daily that come in and out of my community um, because they're going into, you know, one of the 700 businesses that I have at Hunts Point. I, you know, I do represent the, the produce market, the meat market, the fish market, and other businesses there. But Hunts Point is also, half of Hunts Point is residential. And uh, these trucks, they do take advantage. They park overnight, um, and they, they create, they do, they do affect our quality of life. And um, as much as we've relied on the forward, you know, at, at that local precinct, you know, these, the tickets that they get, is just the cost of doing business. Mm -hmm. um, but increasing these fines will really make the driver or the business owner thinking twice as to where they're going to park these trucks overnight, taking valuable parking spaces from my constituents. So I commend you and I thank you. And I'm, I vote aye at all. Diaz. Aye. Levine. Also, with my sincere congratulations to Councilmember Miller for leading on this important bill, I am pleased to vote aye. All right, vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Introduction 1010A has been adopted by the committee. The speaker will be joining us for the black card hearing, so we'll give him a few minutes and we leave the vote open until the speaker joins us.
Continuation roll call, Committee on Transportation, Council Member Espinal. 